Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and this lesson's about absolute value inequalities. A little bit challenging, so let's first review just a little bit about absolute values. When you're solving an absolute value, basically what it means is that whatever you put inside the absolute value symbols, in this case x, will always come out positive. When you're solving an absolute value, you have to divide it into two separate equations. So you start off x is equal to 5, keep everything positive, and then on the other side you have to set up a second equation making the variable or whatever is inside the absolute value symbols negative. Now typically what we do is we don't like to say negative x equals 5. So on this side what we'll do is multiply both sides times negative 1 and that makes the change so that now we know x is equal to positive 5 and x is equal to negative 5. With a simple absolute value like this, um, what that'll do is it will say you can plug the value of 5 in for there and it'll come out as positive 5. You can plug in the value of negative 5 and it will come out as positive 5 and that's true. Now we're going to be working with more complicated equations. So I just end with inequalities. So I just want to kind of point this out as, as sort of a foundation for what we're going to be doing next. All right. When you have an inequality like this, this is the absolute value of x plus 4 is less than 10. What we have to do is to set up two inequalities, one that's completely positive, x plus 4 is less than 10. Basically, you just get rid of the absolute value signs. I always put that one over on the right. It's a little bit easier to set up. The next one, um, you set it up as, again, negative whatever was inside the absolute value symbol is less than 10. And this is why inequalities are different right here. You can't just say, oh, well, I'm going to make this all positive and make the other side negative. All right, like we did in the previous question. You can't do that with inequalities. And the reason why is because when you divide both sides by negative 1, or you multiply both sides times negative 1, you have to change the inequality sign. So sometimes people will simply write it as this. Take what's inside the absolute value, change the sign, and make this number negative. What we actually did was we showed the steps that you will actually take. All right? So I'm trying to explain why it is that you do switch that sign. A lot of people will just go straight into this step. Put one on this side with everything positive. Put this side here. Switch the sign and make the other side of the inequality negative. All right, that's not wrong to do it that way. I just wanted you to kind of understand what it is that we're doing. From now on, I will probably just skip to this step because we would do the same exact thing every single time. Change the sign, make that negative. Change the sign, make that negative, and then just take what's inside the absolute value. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and solve this. Starting on the left side, um, I want to get x completely by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of this inequality. When I do that, I'm left with x is less than 6. Perfect. Now I'm going to move over to the right side. I have to do exactly the same thing because I have x plus 4. I want to get x by itself. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of this inequality. x is greater than negative 14. And that's it for this one. So we can um, have both of these statements true. x is greater or less than 6 and x is greater than negative 14. And both of these statements can be true at the same time. So therefore, we would call this a conjunction and have the word and in between. All right? Because x can be less than 6 and also greater than negative 14. If both of these statements were not true, or uh, they couldn't be true at the same time, then it would be a disjunction and we would separate it with or. All right? So inequality equations, when we're solving absolute value inequalities, they're either going to be a conjunction, if they, are both, they both can be true at the same time, or it will be a disjunction if they both are absolutely not connected at all. In this case, x can be less than 6 
and greater than negative 14. So all the solutions for this conjunction would be between the numbers negative 14 and positive 6, not including the values of negative 14 and positive 6 because it has to be greater than or less than, not equal to those numbers.